Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And today, um, so I was actually playing Starnum, you know? And I found this place called Miko Shack. I've seen YouTube videos about it. This is just my follower here. She's not my wife. My wife is the Solda. She's really easy to get. You just gotta get her a mammoth test. And if you guys look really closely beside her house, as you can see, her house is right behind those shops. If you actually look by these barrels, you can actually see a secret chest she has. Her little secret stash of charcoal, um, kettles, horse hide, and gold. And I was wondering, like, why is that there? That does not make any sense at all. She, I don't, so now I'm wondering, is there any other secret chest? So, that's one secret chest location, guys. I never thought that. Now, I'll show you guys how to find, um, a hidden Migo shack. So, if you actually go over to solitude here so once you're over at solitude you will go down out of solitude you'll go down to solitude sawmill it's nearby hofingar storm cloak camp my favorite storm cloaks and stuff but you'll go down there and you'll keep on walking down until you make it towards miko shack it's near this little thing right here solitude Sawmill. So yeah, then you'll find Nico Shack, and I'll tell you guys a very sad story of him right now. Now there's actually a dragon there, so I can't go there right now because I don't want to have to kill it. It takes me forever to kill even one dragon. So we're gonna we're gonna go over to um, journal. So you'll find this journal inside of their house. It says, "Well, after all my years living in these woods, it looks like the rock point will finally be the end of me." So he's died from the disease. I guess that's fine. All my friends are long dead. Sad story though. The only one left is poor Miko. He always, he was always a loyal companion, and I know he'll be able to take care of himself. I hope someday I'll see him again. And that's a very sad story. If I would keep Miko, I did keep him. He's in my house. I'll show you guys Miko real quick. He's he's the same texture of a normal Skyrim dog. Um, he can be a follower permanently, but you can also make him wait in your house. So, I clicked wait here so he'll stay in my house. So now I have a pet dog. Now, if, if I could have gotten, like, a dialogue where I could actually, like, pet him, that would be awesome. But you can't, you can only make him a follower, that's all he's good for. He has a basic health of 250, so he is pretty good. Now, if you actually get the soda, you will get this nice little mini hut, hut. Now, the stuff in here, it's mostly mine. This is what I store. I'll store dragon bones and scales, because I've been killing a lot of dragons. Um, I've killed like four or five total. So, um, most of the stuff, in, so some of this stuff, like, that's in the wardrobe. Um, this little, um, end table, and also this chest here. That's all the stuff that I gave her, or I added to. So, I'm actually going to drop off the journal in my house real quick. Um, you guys probably just now saw me go, but I'm going to put this little thing inside of her little area. I, I give her, I let her have certain areas in the house. So, I actually have these bounties here. So, by order a little raw sulfur. So there's actually, you gotta kill a dragon on these, um, let me just see what these are about real quick. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna just drop, we're just gonna drop off, um, these little bounties and then we'll go exploring some more. So, here's Miko. And he will actually sniff you for some reason. And if you talk to him, it'll, you can pick follow me, it's time for you to go back home, dog. And he'll go all the way back to his shack, which is really sad. He's in his home once again. And he will whine a lot, but it's okay. Because I have the soda to keep him company while I'm going exploring. And then finally the dragon born now, so I will be able to do Foose. I've not run, I've not learned Rodal yet, 
but I'm working on it. I don't do much of the storyline that much. I mostly go exploring. I like it. I like checking out all the games, seeing the sites and everything in each game, and then I'll do the storyline, or I'll do it while I'm doing the storyline. But right now I'm just exploring. Um, I've seen all the cities, but not all the camp camps. Now I've been to a lot of ruins, and they're really stupid. I hate half the ruins in this game. They are so annoying. Hey, can you please get off my chair, little sissy? I thought you were supposed to be my little helper in this video. Okay, so, um, what do you need me to do, Bubba? We're gonna head over to Miko's shack real quick. What's this? Hall of the Vigilant. Is that Miko's shack? No, that's Hall of the Vigilant. I've not been there yet. Oh, okay. Wait, what is that nearby? Dawn Star. Hall of the Vigilant. Okay. okay, we might go there in the next video, guys. But I did hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, click the bell, and everything. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>